New flight crew, FTC, flight team stand up. Why you lie? It's still July. It ain't June. Hey, you guys. Hey, we back at it again like we never left, man. Apologize for the lack of uh, uploads on this channel, at least. Because, um, you know, on the flight reaction, we actually had back to back uploads. You know what I'm saying? Starting out with the Fresh Clean Genius interview. Then we had a new 1v1. Y'all be sure to go check that out if you want. Now, with that being said, man, uh, yeah, we were busy most of this week because, man, we were shooting a lot of visuals, uh, you know what I'm saying, to a lot of my uh, bangers and everything like that, man. You should be seeing them very, very soon, very exciting. But this was the first time they were actually able to be back in practice. And who I am talking about is not even just the NBA, but the Lakers. No, I'm not a Lakers fan. No, I will never be a Lakers fan. But a lot of people have been spamming me this video. It actually looks very interesting. Now... Because it's row row going on all this shit, bro. The man, uh, Javeli McGee, you know what I'm saying? He gotta be in his bag, man. You know what I'm saying? He became a vlogger and is smart. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, bro, imagine, like, if more NBA players are just, like, you know what I'm saying? Just people of that category would just vlog like that. It's just, like, it's just easy. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, income, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why they don't do it, bro. They don't feel like it. But Javeli McGee is definitely taking full advantage of everything. And he's actually going to be here giving us exclusive, literally fucking, like, footage of what the NBA bubbles are like. Now, I showed you guys a reaction to, like, J.R. Smith. And I think it was Terrence Ross that we did a reaction bubble to. But most of them, they were staying in a hotel. They wasn't getting out and everything like that. And I was dying to look for videos that, like, showed what it actually looked like outside. So we're about to check it out, man. Let's check it out. All right, so when you first go... Um, into the NBA bubble. Apparently, they had to stay in their hotel for 48 hours. So that's probably why they didn't have footage like that. Okay, this is my first step out of quarantine. Um, been in the room the whole time. Bro, imagine being just in a hotel for 40, like two days. You know what I'm saying? You better have a video game or something, bro. FaceTime with friends and family. Um, playing Call of Duty, of course. So, um, He's afraid to leave that door. I feel him, yo. It's like he's going into the real world. Road. That's crazy how they shut down all of the Orlando uh, theme park. Let them have the hotels and shit. Sorry. Hey, man, get in your room, bro. Hey, uh, hey, Kyle. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome on. This <laughs> is that Kuzma dude, yo. You eat already? Man, there's no food. There's no food out there. What you mean? It's not real food? Nah. Nah, it's in the bag, bro. So what are we supposed to do? I don't know. I'm, I got some people. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We go with these elevators again with no buttons. This is a claustrophobic nightmare. No buttons on that Oh, That's J.R. Smith, Smith, man. I gotta go see it. Oh, we got to press this shit. Hey, man. Yeah. Uh, what y'all think? What is your overall opinion on the food in the NBA bubble? I honestly feel like, obviously, it could have been better, but it looks decent and it looks healthy enough to eat and maintain, you know what I'm saying? I feel like if I, you know what I'm saying, smoked a nice blunt before, then I'll be able to just, you know, it looked look like a nice five-star cuisine to me. Compared to what they were showing on social media, it doesn't look that bad. It just looks like just normal bland. Hey man, all jokes aside, man, you know, Javeli McGee is not the best NBA player, man, but look, bro, his personality definitely is A1. He definitely seems like a chill dude, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't cause problems. You just gotta get your skills up on the basketball court, my man. That's it. That's literally it, bro. 
first. Like, ima bro, imagine being seven, seven, bro. If I was seven one, bro, I'd be averaging twenty five a game, bro. Ain't no question about it. Only on four hours a day, you know. That's it. That's it. Hey, y'all think LeBron got his own hotel? That's nice. That's crazy. You can turn a ballroom into it. You can do anything in this world. <laughs> Damn. This is crazy. They turned that to a basketball court now. I um I never like stayed like when it when it came to like um let's say if I wanted to go to a theme park um Orlando wise I never like stayed in an actual hotel like of that theme park you know what I'm saying but I have gone to like that convention center because that's where a lot of like YouTube events be hosted at and shit um I think the last one I went to was back in 2017 it was like fucking um what what what, what event was that I think it was VidCon it was either VidCon or it was that other event? Not VidCon, but it was a, it was the other event that they be usually having. I forgot, I just forget the name. So they've been canceling everything this year. You know what I'm saying? So you forget. But they definitely that basketball court is not there like whatsoever. They literally built that from scratch. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it like holds up and stays. Wow. So where's our court? Court like how they have um three courts right there? This is amazing. They all six feet apart. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. What are the other Lakers hey. at, yo? Hey, AD, what's going on, man? Hey, stay six oh, that's, that's five and a half feet. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Too close. <laughs> Yo, he started charging at the camera, but he said, fuck social distancing, man. So LeBron just shows up to practice later, doesn't go to practice. Great example, LeBron. Good job, buddy. Good example you're saying. Bro, LeBron's nowhere to be found. He just skips practice and stays on 2K all day? Bro, he better be good at the park or something. I don't see LeBron anywhere. You seen every Laker but LeBron. My type of pass. It's my type of shot too, right here. What the fuck are they doing, yo? I think one of them is Quinn Cook. One of them is about to play one v one whenever he stops running away. I think this is Quinn Cook right here. This is uh, who is this? The Green Danny dude. <laughs> There's LeBron. LeBron shows up to practice about an hour late. There you are, LeBron. Great example you're setting for everybody. Do that in the game, Javali. Super secrets. Are y'all? I don't even know what that said, bro. I think he said like secret shit or some shit. Why is he breathing so hard, man? <laughs> He's signed one of them Call of Duty players. I, he actually does play Call of Duty. Funny. No, but when you play Call of Duty and you about to get hit with them, you know what I'm saying, bullets? They breathe harder than his. Look how he shoots, man. <laughs> curious for you on a personal decision um, to, to participate in this. Um, if that was ever uh, a, a challenge for you, if that was ever a difficult decision, if, how much your, your asthma weighed in, and just what that's been like for you as an asthmatic in this in this time. Um, I feel like the first thing that, that weighed in the most was just being away from my, my, my family for two months. Um, that was the main thing. And then the second was definitely my asthma. Ah, damn, yeah. Pray for McGee, man. He has asthma. He can't. 
Yeah, he definitely can't catch it. I'm so focused on, and I've been focused all year on one goal, and I was winning the NBA championship. So if I uh, go through how I've been going through life my whole life, uh, I've never, I mean, I had asthma. I could have quit then. So I feel like I just got to keep going. And uh, that's the best thing for me, um, just to keep focusing on what I can control right now. And uh, the NBA is taking a lot of precautions um, when it comes to COVID and uh, everything that they're doing. Everything is top notch here, so I feel pretty safe. Hey, that's it. <laughs> it's like they beat his ass in practice, y'all. Got some shots up, lifted after. Back in the room playing Call of Duty. I want to see my Call of Duty set up. TV, laptop, my guy. Oh, he be streaming, streaming, but. My guy. Who the hell is that? Calls. Day two. What is that? Down for the books. I'm all good. Peace. Hey, that's gonna cap it off. Hey, that was actually pretty good content. That's kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? I like that he um. Really got into depth and seeing what was inside the NBA bubble and everything. Hey, man, as you may comment down below at Shrek 2 next, man, on the road to Team Elite.